Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we are diving into an Esper token deck today, which I'm super excited for. So basically we're playing Esper Control, throwing in hidden stockpiles and win processions and just token synergies, life gain with Anointed Priest, Legion's Landing, uh, Birth of Melitus, Dawn of Hope, and then basically running you know, a typical Esper control type deck. Not typical, because I don't ever play a typical control deck. I just can't do it, you know. Uh, but we have some pretty fun stuff here as well. Mythos of Aluna, having Anointed Procession, we can just like copy someone else's thing, like an Elder Gargaroth. But we get two copies or sometimes four or more, you know. <laughs> and then we also have Lithoform Engine to be able to copy extra stuff of our own spells, uh, permanents that we're casting, so we can have just extra Anointed Processions if we wanted to, you know, copy those. Uh, just some fun things that we can do with this deck. And that's basically the idea of this, is that we just get to do some cool things with Lithoform Engine, Mythos of Luna, which are one of, so they're not going to happen all the time, but we have our set to be digging through for our our you know our removal our wrath of gods fumigates which helps us gain a lot of life for all of our creatures that we kill as well uh and then basically the whole goal of this is to create the hidden stockpile um epicness with anointed procession which all you do basically is hidden stockpile you sacrifice one servo every time every time on your turn and then anointed procession creates two or four or you know if you have multiples it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger we like more tokens and then that's basically the way that we win is through creating more and more tokens with legions landing hidden stockpiles having more anointed processions out on the board and then and then that's that's fun and so that's the game. Let's go ahead and jump into it. See how it does and wish me luck. Here we go. All right, up against Muff. Bring it on, Muff. And this is keepable for sure. We have Absorb Online eventually on turn three. We can at least start countering stuff. Wrath of Godding, uh, Birth of Melitus, not too shabby. All right. Is this Auras or going to be like something else? All right, Irrigated Farmline. Bring it out past the turn. Uh, humans? It's humans. Humans are a wee bit scurry. I, I might actually just go ahead and fatal push this Enforcer before the Birth of Melitus. Oh, we do have Wrath of God, and they put up on just... Like, the issue is the indestructibleness of things, and so... Um... You know, actually, no, let's let's go ahead and play out Birth of Melitus. I just realized that I had an untapped land. I didn't have to shock myself. Drats! That's okay. <laughs> Alright, Birth of Melitus comes out Grabs us a basic planes, bring it to hand, pass the turn. Um, let's hope they don't have a general Kudro right now. Okay, no Kudro. Dauntless Bodyguard puts it on the General's Enforcer. Rude. Down to 12. Okay, we get a blocker. We get to throw out a planes. We get to, I think it's just past the turn. What we could do is we could play another Birth Meltis, hold up Fatal Push, kill this, get rid of a blocker, basically. Try to find, uh, and then try to Wrath of God without the Indestructibleness. Like, I don't think we have any better play than that. Um, we could have Absorb hit something, though. But if it's a creature, we just want to destroy it anyway, right? We'll see. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll hold up the Absorb. See, this is my issue with playing control. I just, I'm really not good at it. I, I uh, am too, I want to maximize my mana too much. And I don't like just like actually holding up mana for nothing. Because it just isn't fun for me. All right, so let's go ahead and block the enforcer. Um, Yeah, we're stopping some damage here. We could counter something else, but all right, let's go ahead and try for it. Now you're saving the one that's not doing damage anyway. And then Wrath of God should be better. Down to 10. Didn't play anything. Do I really need to Wrath, wrath the board right now? The only issue is the General Enforcer making indestructible uh, legendary things. Like that can be annoying. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Wrath of God. They aren't going to have anything hasty. We can get out to Fairy and bounce anything else that really matters. The only issue is probably Thalia. Kites of Freebooter. Yeah, that's that's okay. Takes to Fairy, I believe. This is hardly my work. <coughs> Q 
fumigate. Not bad. Uh, we're just gonna go birth of Melitus, grab a not shock land right now. Grab the last planes out, play him out, and hold up absorb, pass the turn. Down to 11. In stockpile, nice. Uh, this does mean we have to shock ourselves though. Is it worth going for fumigate here just to get back to fairy? I think what we want to do is we want to shock in the hollow fountain so that I can play hidden stockpile. Um, I'm not sure what we wanted to do with this. We could have also played Dawn of Hope to gain, draw a card on the next turn. I don't think I really want to destroy the wall just for a servo. The scry would be nice though, but we can do that later. Okay, let's do it. Next turn, this leaves anyway, so we get a servo. Uh, Mythos of Luna, we... Yeah, we'll keep that. All right, hold up, absorb. Create a token. Pass the turn. Are we going to race him with, like, one token? Oh, yeah. Better believe it. <laughs> okay, down to eight. Jones Enforcer. So I probably have something better to cast here. I am going to get rid of this because we have the board wipe. And so the indestructible is the thing that matters. So even if they play General Kutro, Skyclave Apparition. Okay, hit, it's a hidden stockpile. That is annoying. It could go Mythos of Luna. Nah, it's just Fumigate. Okay, Fumigate, gain three life. Back up to 16. Dude, Fumigate is good. There we go. And now we're looking pretty good. General Kujo. Sure. That's cool. Exiles the Wrath of God. That's nice. Um. Yeah, Teferi. I don't know if we try to bounce this, like tuck it. Might as well, I guess. Not ready for you. Quite yet. Swing in. Down to 16. Pass the turn. They have to be top decking good stuff. Nothing with haste in this color that I I don't think. Sounds like Banehound, I think. <laughs> so they have a couple of Genokudras. That's actually okay by us as well. Uh, let's use this. Let's Okay, first off, draw a card. Land wouldn't be bad here. Shark Typhoon. Could just play that out. We have lots of things to cast on the next turns. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, Shark Typhoon. Bring him out. No attacks. Pass the turn. Untap. Here and here. Yeah, we get so many tokens made here with the Shark Typhoon. A lot, a lot. Good game. Yep. Not too shabby. Super nice. Super nice. <laughs> All right, I'm against Dim, y'all. And uh, we'll keep this. Um, I don't think I want to hold up the Fatal Push right away. I don't need to. I think I'd rather get out Hidden Stockpile. Like, we don't have... The issue is I don't think I have that many Fable Passages and stuff. I, I forgot to add those. And so we don't have a ton of ways to create Revolt Triggers. Um, for the first time. We have lots of ways to make other tokens. Uh, we could just go for the Narset. Maybe hold up Fatal Put. No, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get it out. Hidden Stockpile out on the board. Narset. They're going to want to get rid of Narset at some point. Hopefully on our turn. Then we can get a Revolt Trigger. All right, hold up, counter spell, pass the turn. Cycles for zero, that's cool. It's the land. And they're holding up counter spells. Sweet. Well, okay then, pass the turn. This is this is the side of control that like I love. 
super cool. <laughs> Uh. Oh yay! All right. Well, Dovin's veto is nice. If we find another blue source, we can play Narset and hold up Dovin's veto, resolve it, stop some card draw, which is which is good. That's not a blue source. Um. Uh, so I don't think that we need to play this out. Yeah. So just play it tapped. Pass the turn. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we're doing uh, S for token control uh, today. Uh, we, we have a, a three different decks that I'm planning on doing today. We have a Torment of Hellfire Ramp deck. Uh, we have a uh, uh, Chimera's built one in Glass Cannon deck that was really cool. I wanted to try out, and so we're going to try that out. All right, let's go Narset. Obviously holding up a counter spell. Let's see if they even try to go for it. Sweet. That I mean that's better for us. We want to be able to hold up mana for their side of the board. And Narset hits nothing. Yay! <laughs> like the only cards that aren't non-creature spells in our deck. Perfect. <laughs> that's big. Fatal push you. Doing it while they're tapped down, so they don't have a counter spell for it. We do need to make sure they don't have too much stuff on board. Search for Iskanta. Um, are they going to just hold up a counter spell here as well? We could try to get to a counter war a little bit with this. Not with Odin's Veto, though. Um, but they might like play something else out, because I'm, I'm down, and that would let me potentially result a fairy. So let's just go for it. So yeah, play out Dovin's Veto. Counter the potential card advantage that they can have. Yep, counter that. Now, do you go for something? You do! Okie dokie. Oh man, Narset's gone. Guess we'll just have to play to fairy. <laughs> Alright, draw a card. I'm known for my hurry. Hold up absorb. Hold up another absorb. And now we just need to actually start getting tokens generated and things. Mindstone's fine. Shark Typhoon is nice. Uh First off, draw a card. Yeah, Hidden Stockpile definitely does need some creatures to actually, you know, revolt or do something. Uh, and so not having that's been, it's weird. <laughs> um, we can't hold, we can't play Absorb and this at the same time. Uh, getting a Counterspell out is not the worst, though. All right, activate. Like I have just the trick for this. Legion's Landing is actually really nice here. Dawn of Hope. Oh, is Dawn of Hope better than Legion's Landing? Legion's Landing lets us create a creature right now. But Dawn of Hope lets us do stuff consistently. Yeah, so let's go Dawn of Hope. Um, I feel like it gets countered here if we don't hold up protection for it. So let's just pass the turn for now. Playing the, the long game, which is... No, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> uh, commit. Second from the top? Okay. All right, Shark Typhoon, um, X3. So let's just draw to Fairy on this next turn as well. So we can still be hitting something else with the Denar set. Eliminates the Denar set. Okay, never mind. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Fatal push. You have it all. Wow. Wow. 
double hidden stockpile or triple hidden stockpile is also pretty sweet. Like, honestly, that might be better. We don't have a creature to knock it stopped here, though. So... Let's go Dawn of Hope. Play out the Dawn of Hope so we can make a token. Also, just hold up Absorb, probably. Stop them from actually doing anything that wins. Yeah. Make a token if they don't play anything past the turn. What you got, sir? All right, yeah, make a token with Dawn of Hope. They probably have a bunch of just removal and stuff too, so we are, you know, tap down with this. But it's card draw, it creates revolt triggers, everything about it is good to play. All right, fatal push, that's fine. But now we can at least be doing this every turn. And so the more mana we get, the better it gets. It's all good. So yeah, let's go hidden stockpile number two. I don't think that we want to cast much more than this. Do I want to play out the other hidden stockpile? No, because we want to be able to make a token and sacrifice it. Do I want to do it right now is the question. Now let's go to end step, pass the turn. One of these times, one creature is going to survive for longer, and that's cool. Uh, I think our biggest issue is probably a big shark at some point, which we do have the Wrath of God for that. Pass my turn. Sweet. All right, get some card draw. We'll swing in. Another Wrath of God. Great. I wanted more of those. Um, okay, Sacrifice, Scry. Dovin's Veto is actually really nice here. Yeah, so keep up Dovin's Veto on top. Pass the turn, get two more tokens. All right, now we're actually creating a threat on board. Three hidden stockpile is actually really, really good. And we'll see how this goes. Gets the Scry. Uh, they're going to have board wipes like Extinction Events, which does hit us pretty hard. Um. All right, cool. Things are dead. We already know what we, we want, what's on top. Uh, they're leaving down not as much mana, which lets us potentially resolve to fairy, which is great with Dawn of Hope, great with everything we're doing here. And we have Dovin's Veto to stop the stuff. Okay, Dovin's Veto. Teferi resolves. Uh, tick up, draw a card. Birth of Militus. More uh, revolt triggers, which is really nice. Okay, so resolve. Um, I guess we won't be able to actually get the revolt trigger because we'd have to do it right now to be able to do it. So yeah, I passed the turn. That's fine. We can still get a scry if we need to. Okay, passed my turn. Um, More mana. Hidden stockpile. Number three. Birth of Militus doesn't actually draw us a card here. We don't have the extra land at the moment, but it does create revolt triggers for free later on. Um, let's draw a card first. Anointed Procession would be sweet. 
or all of our wrath of gods that's cool too <laughs> um birth of Belitis. Yeah, decline. No, no lands to grab. We don't. We do have not that many planes. I think we need to actually drop one Birth of Melitus. I, I think. Oh, I think we have two. I think that's. I think that's okay. Uh, okay. Don't draw a card. Decline. We will. Why did you cancel? Let's tap that one. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Lithoform engine. That's pretty fun. <laughs> uh yeah i mean it's not a bad thing to hit right copy the revolt triggers copy other stuff we can start making an actual board every turn okay being able to copy the the counter spell so we always have double counter spell as well so if this resolves it's actually really solid for us Sublime Epiphany. Counter that. They must have something else good in hand, but either way, get, stopping him with Sublime Epiphany is worthwhile. Brass Contempt. That's cool. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Okay. Lithoform engine. Draws two cards. Actually, we could stop them here. They do have memory to draw cards. That also uh, draws us cards here as well. I guess we need to hold on to Counterspell for other stuff. Okay. That's fine. Loot the Form Engine. Attack in. Uh, we're not going to activate the Lithoform Mission because we need to have Absorb held up here, but yeah, that's at the bottom. Pass the turn. Three more tokens. Six damage a turn. Gonna kill him. Two cards left in hand. If it's nothing good, they're going to have the memory. Able Passage. And I'm not sure if we want to absorb the memory if it does hit here. We won't be able to counter... Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We do have to get the graveyard shuffle back in as well, right? All right, pass my turn. A fourth blue source. Yeah. I like that. Um, I could copy this and draw multiple cards. Um, resolve. Auto pay. Shark Typhoon is nice. Uh, so we already have Revolt triggered, so I don't need to sacrifice anything. Uh, bring that in for a bigger Shark Typhoon. Uh, we can also... Um, so act activated triggered ability. Uh, does this count as an activated triggered ability? I believe so, right? So we can end up making two sharks. I could have also made two copies of the shark typhoon, which also would have been pretty sweet. Actually, no, it's four mana to do that. So we'd have to have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more and we can do that. All right, so let's uh, hold up control here for a second. Let's go. Um, yeah, so X3. 
and copy it. Um, so this, uh, If I, if I do this, do I get this trigger again? Okay. I just realized that, would, would it draw us a card and then also do it? Doesn't do that? Okay. Sublime Epiphany's coming, all right, cool. So now if they take off this triggered ability, we don't actually get it anymore, which is annoying. They're not countering any spell, but they get to recopy a Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, it still doesn't beat us, not necessarily. Wrath of God is still pretty good. All right, cool. No tokens for Jeffrey. Wait, did they not counter this ability? Oh, they countered the trigger ability of the Lithoform Engine. You just countered this one and it fizzles. That's cool. We gotta create a 3 3 still. All right, sweet. Nice, Fable Passage. Another blue source. Play to fairy. Jaws with Mindstone. Cool, cool, cool. So I already have Revolt Trigger. I don't need to sacrifice. Gotta remember that. <laughs> um, so I could bounce the token, stop some extra blockers. Is that better than just drawing here? I think I'd rather just ensure victory a little bit more. Mythos of Aluna to bring back what here? Fatal push for the token. No, this is actually, it's, it is a 6-6, six, six, so fatal push wouldn't work. Um, yeah, we don't really have any instances to work with that, but that's fine. Um, Could copy like the hidden stockpile. Let's go to combat first. Tack in. Did we have lethal? I didn't even do the math. No, that's right. Okay, yeah, we didn't we didn't quite have lethal, so it wasn't worth stopping him there. It's better to try to do this. Uh we have Dawn of Hope token, we have Absorb held up. Yeah, so we just passed the turn. Already had a revolt trigger. Untap some lands. Crack Sable Passage. Dude, this game has been long. But I do feel like we've been in control pretty much the whole time. Draws more cards. They have to have basically two board wipes to have a shot here. And their board wipes do also kill Torrential Gear Hulks. Uh, we could just scry a bunch and try to find more stuff. Like, we're, we're not that worried as long as hidden stockpiles don't die, right? So, board wipe isn't the worst for us. Spell can't be countered. Reveals their hand, exile each, all non creature, non land cards. That is all of our hand. Can't be countered. Wow, I haven't seen that card played. Our entire hand gets dis gets discarded or exiled. Dang, that was bad. Holy crap. I want to say good game.
Sublime Epiphany. And Pony Super Saiyan. Okay, yeah. So didn't have, didn't have the removal. But Thought Distortion was insane. That's uh, that's a scary card. I feel like it's got to be more of a sideboard card, but uh, it's definitely terrifying. <laughs> Jesse Gentry. What do we think? Jesse Gentry is going to be playing a creature deck or not? We're going to keep it. I, I feel like Jesse Gentry. Like, no? Okay. Uh oh. All right. Watergrave tapped. Triome. Triome is creature heavy. I'm like, I mean, Abzan tends to be a little creature heavy. Clerics. Uh, tapped. Pass the turn. I don't think they'll play any, like, indestructibleness. Conclave Mentor. Very interesting. That is a cleric, huh? And it'll get more counters. So yeah, we do we do kill this. Conclave Mentor. Okay, hold up absorb here. Pass the turn. I mean if it's another creature, we probably just let it resolve in Wrath of God. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Hits for four. That's annoying. And they're going to be able to gain four life, but that's that's okay. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, cleric counters and everything. All right, board wipe. Two cards left. Up to 25. Down to 16. It's all good. Collect the company. He got the Coco. Oh no, he got the Coco. Uh, um, yeah, Coco or uh, Wrath of God. That's what you get for playing Coco main phase. And then if you hold it up next time, we just absorb. Sounds good. Speaker of Heavens. Daxos. Would love to hit a land here. Legion's Landing. They could just gain a lot of life here. So I guess we hold up Absorb and Legion's Landing. So yeah. Play Legion's Landing. Pass the turn. We have a token for Hidden Stockpile now. What's good today? Dude, what's good today is this deck is actually pretty solid. for 2-0 so far. Ah, man, if we just hit land for the Fumigate, I'm okay with this. They gain one life. Um, I'm not sure. Like, what is it that we're wanting to absorb mostly? If we don't hit the land here, then yeah, that's worth hitting. Just to keep them down off, off the 27 for a while. No blocks. Up to 17. They could just be holding onto lands. Yep. Dawn of Hope. Hold up. Dovin's. Hmm. Well, this is card draw for us right now. And we probably do just go for the card draw. Right away. Takes it. Where's the land? Come on, land. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> oi. Oi, oi, oi. It's funny that Mono White Life Gain is real deck. Kind of funny. Kind of like, yeah, they gave him so much flipping stuff that it just makes sense. Where's Maltus? All right, so we have Fumigate online, so we actually don't care about their life total going very high here. Uh, so we can hold up Sensor. I'm not sure if that really hits anything here. I guess we can hold it to counter, uh, maybe block and draw as well. So yeah, let's pass the turn. Heliod. Heliod, it's annoying. Can't actually counter that. Resolve. Alright, block here. Do 
Use lifelink, that's cool. Yeah, they get up to 27. They get to make an uh, angel, they get to gain some life. Uh, we will pay two. We will cycle a sensor. There's a revolt trigger that we can use for later. Heal. Yeah, the Heliod is probably the most annoying thing. There's an answer for it, though. Uh, fumigate. Gain 5 life, back up to 19. Don't get to draw a card. Yeah, lots of counters onto Heliod. Uh, we should be able to stop them from ever getting to the Devotion, unless we... Unless this is a Coco right now. That would be the worst. Alright, pass the turn. And opponent scoops it up. There we go. Nice. We didn't ever actually ever find our hidden stockpiles, which we have four of in the deck, but still got the W. And we like the W. All right, up against Grandas, and don't think we can keep this hand. We need the white mana, so we mulligan. On the draw, like, we maybe can make it work, but this is better. Keep this. We do have Fable Passage for... Oh, no, we actually have to find black mana with Fable Passage. Um... Do I want to hold on to the to fairy, or do I just want to... Like, we might just drop the Dovin's Veto. Having counter spells is nice, but we don't even know if they're going to be playing creature, like non-creature spells yet. So, we'll go like this. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Let's... Irrigated Farmland. Uh, Botanical Sanctum... Typically right now is played by either the Simic Flash deck or it's the here we go. And this is the uh, The stupid deck, so we actually hold up uh, Let's let's shock this in past the turn hold and don't veto so we can counter the neo form Wall of blossoms, okay Yeah, Neoform is a thing that we hate here. We hate it lots. Uh, Fatal Push. We will go ahead and kill the Paradise Druid now. Double Hidden Stockpile is kind of nice. Alright, so Island. Uh, I think we still have to hold up Dovin's Veto here. Pass the turn. Blastful Mimic. Draws more cards. All right, Fable Passage, grab a Black Source. Hidden Stockpile, hold up Dovin's Veto. Veto. Get a token. Pass turn. Do you have it now? Are you going to go for it? So you get Storm Caller. We like seeing that, actually. Neoform. So we can't stop the copy, but we can stop the main one. Which means they can't copy with other stuff. And opponent just scoops it up. Sweet. All right, there you go. I mean, they could have waited to see if we would, uh, you know, if they could resolve it again sometime. But that's it's so hard to get that to go off one time that that's fair. All right. Nice. 4-0 and o with this deck so far. All right. Up against Urk. And we will keep this. We have the Fatal Push available. Shock this in. Pass the turn. I'm not sure if we'll actually go for the token here. Uh... Soul Warden. We will absolutely kill that instead. Hmm. I don't want to be shocking ourselves up against an obviously aggro deck. But like getting that hidden stockpile could be pretty nice. If we find a field of passage, it also becomes blockers for us. So, I don't think holding up Dodon's Veto is going to help a ton. 
I think the only non-creature stuff is probably like Legion's Landing and stuff they're not going to cast this turn. Sarah Ascendant. Okie dokie. Board wipe and lance. Which we have none of those right now. Absorb could be nice. Swings in down to 13. That's the Wrath of God. I mean, I guess we hold up the Dovin's Veto here. <laughs> Just to slow him down a smidge. Hey, there we go. All right, perfect. That worked out well. All right, they make more stuff. We still have not hit our lands. We have to survive at least a few more turns to not be dead. And I think that's game. Like, I, I just don't think that we can be fast enough now. Play out Dawn of Hope. We have to be able to counter something big here, and they have to not play anything out. Okay, make a token. Make another token with the fort. Down to four. All right, that's land. If we get to absorb something here, then we have a shot. If they just swing in before, play. come on, you want to play something, right? Dang it. Just not, not hitting our land drops. And that's how you lose right there. All right, up against Stitch and yep, keep this, good hand. Irrigated farmland, played out tap, pass the turn. Skirk Prospector, uh-oh. Well, let's just make sure we hit our land drops and hopefully we can find something useful here. I was debating and actually playing like Lavinia with this deck just because it kind of shuts down Muxus and Skirk Prospector. Like if you don't have lands to play it, you can't cast it. So like Lavinia actually might be a decent card to be bringing in for stuff like this. As well as a lot of just the ramp decks and other things. In stockpile. Are we going to be able to counter anything with... I don't think so, right? So let's just go hidden stockpile. Uh, play hollow fountain tapped. This revolts on the next turn, so I don't really care to get this try right now. This is a better blocker. Goblin War Chief. Yeah, we don't have the best of answers for what they're doing here, unfortunately. All right, Cranko. Create some Gabos. We get the block. Board wipe would be the best top deck possible here. Another hidden stockpile. Gain some life. We have the revolt trigger. Let's go. Two tokens for blockers. Birth of Melitus. Dig for that other land. Yeah, I mean, thin the deck so we can hit that board wipe, right? Legion War Boss. I mean, as long as it's not Muxus coming out here, we're, we're pretty okay with this, actually. Yeah, block here. Um, you know, actually, maybe we kill the War Chief. We're going to take a big hit, but if we can get rid of that War Chief, that helps a ton. Down to 10. <laughs> yeah. All right, sweet. Wrath of God. Stuck on four lands, so no Muxus yet. We have two tokens coming out. That was the best top deck ever. I like it. Revolt next turn as well. We get to play Teferi and probably just take care of the Trash Master here. I guess we don't really have to. To fairy. <clears throat> so we get two more blockers here. If they hit land and Muxus, it could be pretty bad having everything get bigger. Um, putting this on top could mean that they're further away from a Muxus later on. Card draw would be really nice though. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, Dovin's vetoes, which are pretty dead here. No attacks. Few triggers. All right. If we can go wide enough, like 
and keep and make sure they just don't find crux uh crankos. We still have a shot. So they have um some art so actually let's see here. So they can sacrifice Wily Goblin and the treasure to kill two of these guys. Um, and so we don't actually get to kill the, the Trash Master just yet. So yeah, just just chump. Yeah, Lithoform is going to be fun with the uh, stockpiles. And actually, probably just you can also just uh, double up to Fairy's ability. You get four mana. Well, we'd have to spend the two anyway. It wouldn't work. All right. Uh, Pass my turn. I should have scryed there. But we did hit what we wanted anyway. So there we go. Nice. Uh, that's probably one of the worst matchups for us. And we actually came out, like, stayed in control the entire time. So that was not too shabby. All right, up against Luar. And yeah, sure. We have a Noiter Priest. That can always just come back as well. So some life gain. Good blocker. Looks like we're up against an aggro deck too. So that'll be needed. I'll take Brawler. Okay, grab the White Source. Uh, yeah, I think we're digging for Board Wipe with Narset here. So down to 19. Um, Anointer Priest. Pass the turn. See if they pump here. They do pump. So they get it for one point of damage. We can keep like Narset alive with it later. Three mana. We have a chance of blocking more damage, I suppose. So why not? Bone crushing. Absorb. That's some life gain. Is that better than just playing out Narset and digging for the board ripe? Because we have to kind of do what's what's there already. Um, we'll pass the turn. Like if we can if we can stop a questing beast or something big here, that'd be nice. Yeah, I dropped the Narset probably would have been good to try to dig for the board ripe quicker. Um, we'll see. Okay, up to 18. So if they have another Primal Might, they can do some stuff here too. Okay. Uses it, we block four points of damage. We could always just bring back the Anointer Priest as well. Gain another point of life and have another blocker, but we're we're gonna get out uh Narset now. So play out Fable Passage. Narset. I have practiced against men with thoughtfulness before action. Birth of Melitus, stick for the other land. Um Hidden Stockpile could be pretty nice. Just for blockers every turn, but like we're not necessarily gonna win just for blockers here. Another absorb, I guess. I we need this to find our black mana as well. So we're not gonna like if we find any of our black sources, but I guess we need double white for all of our board wipes anyway. Uh so let's just go planes. Life gaining blocker is always nice. Pass the turn. They want to kill Narset here, stopping us from having a chance to find a board wipe. They don't hit our face. Uh, this doesn't have trample now. Another primal might or something would be annoying. Questing beast. That's annoying. Alrighty. Alright, board wipe. Let's go. Don't have Narset to dig for it now. And if we don't, then we're dead. Are we dead? 
So I can bring back, see, Shark Typhoon. We have to shock it in to be big enough to block this, and then we still die. Anointed Priest gains us one life. We can't shock this in regardless, right? So tap, bring that in tapped. Um, I don't think that Absorb is going to, gonna they're going to play Absorb. So bring back Anointed Priest. Gain some life past the turn. Up to nine. We can block four points of damage here. And they have eight. <laughs> so I we, we're surviving. A Fumigate would be sweet. If they go wide here, we just gain a lot of life. All right, there we go. Good game. Good game, good game. Okay, go ahead and attack in. There we go. I'll let you have it. Yep, yep, yep. Just did not find the board wipes, and that's how that goes. All right, up against Al Buero, and we're on the play with an Absorb up against Kiera, which is going to be more controlly anyway. So yeah, we keep this. We're fine with that. I thought of the Queen song. <laughs> I'll never lose. Everyone just go on and on and on. We are the champions, my friends. Burn. Yeah, dude, that's good stuff right there. Uh, Birth Melitus. I feel like shocking in the water grave is going to be pretty obvious here. Oh, this is... We still have got to do it. Well, let's see. What turn does do things go crazy? We're going to want to hold up Absorb for, I think, a different turn. So we could play it in tapped. Yeah, might as well shock it in. All right, pass the turn. So this is, I think, uh, Transmogrify deck. Or is it um, Winota? I can't remember. Or it's Transmogrify, right? Yeah. So we just have to counter that when it comes. Okay, down to 17. Um... Yeah, got the shrine tapped, pass the turn. We will probably just cycle here if we don't have something to counter. Oh, you could fatal push the target for Transmogrify. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, you could do that. So yeah, holding that up could be nice. Uh, we do have to stop them from doing too much damage as well. That's fine. It's, we, we still have to hold up a counter spell for it. If we end up having two counter spells, we can start firing them off, but... Board wipes also are pretty good. They can't really transmogrify and swing in on the same turn. Sensor. We'll cycle that for now. I I don't I, I think we're gonna find better things than that. Dovin's veto, sweet. Alright, so planes. Teferi. Take up here, that's fine. I'll show you strength. You know what? I'm not done yet. Noiner priest. Raise the alarm would be annoying there. Okay, no raise the alarm. Is Transmogify an uh, extra cost? All right, so Dovin's Veto. Uh, we still want to hold on to Fable Passage for some other stuff. So let's go out and go ahead and play a Noiner Priest. Uh, I guess draw a card first. Let's skip to the good part. In stockpile. Yeah, okay. Uh, we get it untap and still hold up Absorb, right? So 
start making some tokens of our own. Grab a... I guess just an island here. Play hidden stockpile. This start make, starts making life, or uh, we start getting life with this as well with anointed priest. Untap. Here, here. No transmogrify. All right, so they go for it. All right, now we really have to start digging for that extra land or uh, the extra counter spell, uh, which we can uh, scry at least. Fire prophecy. Um, yeah, we'll stop them from drawing. Shark typhoon on top. It's not a counter spell. But it could be a way for us to, like, start actually winning. So that's not the worst, right? Doesn't swing at Teferi. Very interesting. All right, draw card. No time for a break. Um, how, how are we spending our mana here? I should have, I, I meant to, uh, target that first. Uh, we can still do this and actually maybe just cycle with Shark Typhoon to find a counter spell. So we can go up to 22. If they transmogrify here, we wouldn't die to it right away. And this gains us yeah, two more points of life. So we'll have to hold up Shark Typhoon. And we could cycle and try to cycle into uh, Dovin's Veto. I, I doubt that we'd find it, but it's a possibility. There it is. All right, uh, blue, white, cycle for zero. So this actually does bring in a token that gains us life here, by the way. It is a zero, zero token. It doesn't really show it ever, but all right, th this is fine. So they go and find their, their crater hoof. This shouldn't be enough to actually kill us. Maybe they can kill Teferi if they wanted to, but that's fine. And in fact, now we just let it go through, right? So we can actually hit the revolt trigger. So yeah, Teferi's good. I don't know why you wouldn't swing something at face. Um, we are going to get the revolt with one of these anyway, so let's go ahead and just sack and scry. Another hidden stockpile with Wrath of God. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's not bad. That's my turn. Uh, attack in. Hidden stockpile, Wrath of God. Uh, Water grape tapped. All right. Lithoform engine can be pretty sweet now. Just making copies of these guys. Uh, so I think I, the permanent spell means it has to be on the stack when you when you target it, right? I believe that's how it works. Okay, passes my turn. Narset's pretty nice. The past, present, and future keep an open mind. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I guess absorb first. OK. 
Okay, blocks. We sack that one. Fatal push. We don't actually get to draw it right here, right? That is a way to kill Kahira, though. Do we care about that or just finding more Rass? We just kind of put a bunch of Rass at the bottom as well, though. Um, it, it is another way to answer the, the Transmogrify, I guess. All right, Bass turn. Get some tokens. There could be something about to be said about bringing Crater Huff to a deck like this with like Luca or Transmogrify. Just because we don't play any creatures anyway. So might as well do some fun stuff. Okay, pass my turn. Activate Narset. There's the Annoyed Procession. Swing in. Okay, uh, yeah, that's already causing revolt for us, so we don't need to do anything else. We will kill the Kahira here. Home of the sun. Um, counter token generation? Do I counter the... the I, I counter the spell, right? So, yeah. Tokens are fine. We can deal with tokens all day long. Sack scries. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we it's so easy as, for us to uh, to create tokens anyway that blocking for damage is is pretty useful for them. Like the only time you get get worse is if if they can. Like what we had right there was pretty nice, but all right, uh, that's fine. Go digging for cards. Yep, yeah, can't draw. <laughs> I forgot about that. And and there's the the shame scoop. Sweet. All right, in the wrap-up for this deck, we had uh, we played eight games, six wins, two losses, uh, and the two of the losses that we have, we actually, uh, I mean, the, the, of course, were the aggro decks and stuff, uh, but one of them, we just got mana screwed like crazy. Another one, they just had really, really fast play, uh, and those you're going to lose against some of those, but I actually was really impressed with just how this plays. I think that controls control deck with tokens as good blockers in the early game, stuff like that, actually creates some pretty good things that you can be doing. Uh, you know, being and, and it's nice too because we have such good token generation that we can play the Wrath of Gods and Fumigates. It was annoying that out of eight games, we found Anointed Procession one time, only one time in eight games. And I, sorry, like I really wish that we could find it more often than that. I was hoping to. Uh, maybe playing four copies is what we need to do, but that's just, that's how it goes sometimes. So sorry. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on this one. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to join us on Twitch, I'm going to keep playing more stuff here where we do a few few uh, decks every day that I'm streaming. So links down in the description below if you want to check me out there. Make sure you just hit the follow button and come join us whenever you can. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to other stuff.